Hey guys and welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video on the Xbox Series X. Now today is going to be a different kind of video. Um, instead of doing flights or landing challenges today, I'm going to be ranting about this game. Now I've had this game for, well, since it's been released. I uh, can't remember exactly when that was but it was one of the main reasons I decided to purchase an Xbox. Um, I'm usually a PlayStation guy, I've had PlayStation my whole life but as soon as I found out that Flight Simulator was being released on Xbox I thought okay this is the time to go and buy one. Now fast forward to present day and I'm more of an Xbox fan than my PlayStation these days, I mean it's all I play these uh, right now. Uh, mainly due to flight simulator and it's also like I said the main reason why I bought the Xbox because my current computer which is an iMac it it's not able to play flight simulator on the PC and I am not willing to spend around seven eight hundred pounds for a great PC so that I can play flight simulator but since playing the game I think just last few months this game has been so buggy I don't know why, um, I'm not sure why it's not been fixed or if there's any patches that have been re released but it has been frustrating me so much. So the first thing with, uh, that I've encountered was uh, crashing to desktop. Now this is quite common I've found out. Um, I've checked on the flight simulator forums, I've also checked on reddit and it seems to be a common theme uh, with Xbox users. So if you've not encountered it, what it basically is, you're f midway through a flight and all of a sudden you get a black screen and the game just stops, it crashes and then you return to the Xbox home page. Now today alone, whilst trying to film um, multiple video videos, around 3 or 4 videos, um, I encountered that uh, crashing to desktop every single time and some of them may have been uh, three quarters of a way through a flight um, and it just gets really really annoying I would be for just about to land in a video having completed 20-30 minute journeys and as as I'm about to land it, the game crashes and it honestly it gets on your nerves and it just pisses you off so much um, like I said this this has been happening for a while now and I'm honestly not sure why Microsoft and Asobo haven't done anything to fix this because honestly it, it's coming to a point where you're unable to play the game I mean you could be flying for 5-10 minutes and then the game crashes um, there's not really been any reason as to why this is happening I've seen a few solutions on the forums but again um, some of them involve deleting the whole game, reinstalling it, deleting the um, the add-ons that you've purchased and re-adding them or re-downloading them. But again, I mean, you really shouldn't be, you shouldn't have to do that in order to um, get the game fixed. I, honestly, I think this is the first thing that Microsoft should try and fix because honestly, it is just getting frustrating for me. I think the second thing that Microsoft have to fix is the marketplace. I mean, honestly, it's absolute crap. Um, as I scroll through the marketplace, um, this is probably the updated version of all the items that have been released. But some of the items that are on the marketplace are abysmal. I'm not sure what kind of quality control these um, creators have had when um, submitting their... Um, add-on through Microsoft I'm not sure what they're checking from on their end but we've got multiple aircrafts that have been rated very low and some of them are horrendous to fly with um, the 737 Max by Bredock I mean that it, it's manageable now but before these updates honestly it was it was so hard to use the plane felt so heavy you couldn't turn much it would increase in altitude all by itself You've also got so many scenery packs and bird packs and night scenery packs that are just useless in my opinion. Some people might buy them but I mean the majority of them won't. Look at the A16 Thunderbolt and the A4 Skyhawk 1.6 and 2 
out of five ratings i mean that's just saying something microsoft needs to fix this marketplace and i know with the next sim update they've got a version 2.0 coming but honestly it, it just co comes down to the creators and i mean someone needs to check what these lot are putting through because it, it's it's so bad i mean some of them even the inside of the cockpits you're not getting any of the flight visuals um appearing properly um some of the add-on airport packs they crash your game um so i recently bought the las vegas pack which had the city remodeled and it also had the airport as well so the city itself it looked nice um i was happy with how that looked but trying to fly out of um, McCarran airport or harry reed airport as it's known now every single time i tried to take a flight out of that airport the game would crash um, I did that multiple times and honestly it just wouldn't work now when you're buying a pack that's around 15 pounds where you're getting a scenery pack and an airport pack you expect both of them to work what's the point of me buying it if whenever I want to fly out of the main airport in Las Vegas the game just crashes it just doesn't make sense again it's just one of these things that a Sobo or Microsoft have to fix because I love flying and so many other people love flying flying games um, it's just a hobby of mine and when I found out that Flight Simulator was coming to Microsoft I was so happy but having played this game during the last few weeks it has been so frustrating and honestly there's nothing I can do on my end to try and fix the game another thing Microsoft have to fix the travel to um, feature on this game so obviously with me having a lot of crashes in this game um, it affects videos that I make so whatever footage I have um, I tend to just try and fly to the cruising section of the or the descent section just to try and maintain a continuity in my videos now this travel to um, feature whenever you um, travel to landing or cruising or descent whenever the game loads it just randomly bugs out so many times you'd have the plane uncontrollable you'd have the plane sideways or just about to turn upside down it doesn't happen all the time but it does happen a lot and again i'm not sure why it's like that this this like i said at the beginning there's just so many features that this game need to fix there's so many bugs it's also it's <sighs> It's as if this game isn't designed for Xbox and it's just been rushed out. That's how it feels like. I mean, on PC, it must be so much easier to use. You get a lot more add-ons. As Xbox users, we feel we feel cheated. And I'm not the only one that thinks that. I know a lot more YouTubers that also feel as if we're getting cheated out of this game. We're not getting the full potential. And again, I know it's on the Xbox, so there are limitations such as add-ons and getting licenses for like plane liveries but it, it just doesn't it just doesn't work for, for me another thing that xbox needs to fix is giving us more options in the marketplace now i touched before about how um, the quality of the items in the marketplace are crap and i'm hoping that and these lot can fix it but i'm hopefully sometime in the near future there are items that are more geared to us users such as more planes or more liveries even giving us the opportunity to create our own liveries or create our own airplanes i mean that would be such an amazing feature um, to create an airplane that's in our own livery but obviously that probably seems almost impossible but having that feature would be amazing i mean in games like fifa or pro evo for just to name a few you can create your own stadium you can create your own team kits having a customizable feature like that in this game would be amazing as i'm scrolling through the marketplace you may have seen so many night scenery packs again useless i don't know why they're there if I can't repeat myself enough I just feel cheated we all just feel cheated out of this game the fifth thing that Microsoft and Asobo have to fix with this game and I think it's one of the most important ones 
is the loading screen time. Now whenever you load up the game uh, fresh, these these wait times at the loading screens, oh my god, they are there for ages. It can be 2-3 minutes, maybe even more. Even for some user, users, the game just doesn't boot up and I'm not sure why. You've got a update file um, at the beginning as at the beginning as well where the game looks for any uh, new updates and that takes forever and then once that's done you've got a new loading page usually that shows the latest sim update so in this um, instance it's Australia and their um, sim update and that loading screen takes ages it reminds me of GTA now that loading screen for that game took so long a few minutes maybe even more than that and it, it just gets really annoying I mean you're there eager to play the game and honestly in the time that you the game loads you could have probably made yourself a cup of tea and had some lunch that's how long it takes and I mean I'm hoping this this gets fixed in the future it probably won't knowing a Sobo and Microsoft um, I mean all they care about is earning money from these useless marketplace um, add-ons but these are the things that makes the game annoying to play and if you can cut down if you can cut down on your loading times even by a few minutes or a minute it just makes it more easier for us to play the game I mean it's such a minor thing but over time it just gets so annoying uh, I don't know how many of these issues you may agree with me but I mean these are just five things that I, I really hope Microsoft can fix uh, because it, it, it just gets annoying for us and I really do like this game, I love playing it but whenever it crashes which is pretty much 95% of the time you just I just get so annoyed and I just start screaming at the TV so I mean hopefully one day it does get fixed but I mean I'm not really expecting much uh, thanks for watching this rant um, as always please leave a like and press that subscribe button hoping to get 250 pretty soon but yeah, thanks for watching and bye.